Alrighty. So just starting out, um, last stream I played through the uh, Highway 17 chapter where you get the buggy with the uh, Tau Cannon on it. Very fun chapter, one of the most memorable in the game. Uh, it's a vehicle level, of course, uh, which is controversial always. Um, but if you made it this far in the game, it's very likely you're going to actually complete the game. Um, a lot of people had gripes with um, Root Canal, the previous vehicle level, like way, way near the beginning, where you were on that very janky airboat, and it was just really, really long chapter. Um, I've always liked Highway 17 a, a fair bit more, just because the physics of the buggy are so much more nicer than the airboat, like kind of being floaty on water. It's like a... Uh, a stick of a butter with a fan tied to it basically is how the airboat handles whereas the buggy is kind of it just it just behaves like a regular car so very good physics engine with uh the source engine of course with havoc physics um and we finally have enough processing power in 2004 to make a fully realized physical world where you know you interact with different objects and can have puzzles based on that etc which was really cool for the time. Uh, a lot of games still don't do that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so Highway 17 is actually much shorter than you'd think. Um, I'm pretty much done with it. And I'm going to be going on to Sand Traps and onwards. Um, this is also a very good chapter. It's like the floor is lava for adults, but you'll see what I mean. Very fun. So something Valve is able to determine with playtesting, Valve does a hell of a lot of playtesting. They, they do playtesting constantly and at every phase of development, which is not typical for software companies. Um, yeah, they wait until you get out of the car to attack. But yeah, through playtesting, Valve, Valve was able to realize, hey, you know, these action sequences are great, they're really fun, driving sequences are great, they're really fun, but, you know, they can tell through playtesting when people start to nod off or get tired of something that's a little bit repetitive. And so that's where they add in something like this, where they put up a roadblock and they have some small puzzle or something like that. Um, you know, you, const you hear people people talking about valve puzzles, valve puzzles. Um, but they are kind of a nice break from the normal gameplay. Um, and they're they're really good for pacing. I really like how they do that. So I don't mind the puzzles. I think they're kind of nifty. And I, I just like the pacing of most of Valve's games. So. That's not helpful. What happened here? Oh no! Looks like they barricaded themselves, but somebody broke in through the vents. Got them. So sad. But yeah, so doors can can be barricaded in the source engine with a heavy enough physics object, just like that. Um, if it's like pressing against the door, the door won't open. Uh, doors always open outward from the interactor. All doors are bi-directional, just to make it less confusing. 
so. Yeah, the E3 tech demo for Half-Life 2 is definitely worth watching. It's kind of neat. They show a lot of under-the-hood stuff with the Source engine. Alright, path forward. Looks like... I think on the Xbox 360 or Xbox, this map is broken down into smaller parts. So I don't think I'd be able to see that far. The uh, the mist is like 20 meters out from you. You do not have this kind of distance, viewing distance. So I'm kind of cheating a little bit, shooting them from this far away. But that's fine, it's 2021, I have a nice computer. I certainly have more than 256 megabytes of RAM, so... Might as well use it. So I'm pretty sure there's a scripted event in here where you get ambushed, but so you don't this this kind of thing, this kind of sidetrack is entirely optional. There's really you no reason you have to do it or should do it. I mean, at this point, you're usually pretty well geared. So it's it's more just if you want to explore, you can stop for something like this. If you don't, you can just drive right past it. But for the sake of this playthrough, I am gonna. Dork with it, I think. So yeah, loot on the first floor. Nothing on the second floor. And then I go to the third floor. And I'm like, hmm. How'd this guy die? Ah! <laughs> So that's it's a nice scripted event. It's kind of neat. That that is kind of neat. I think these things really know how to go... Yeah, let's see how... I don't think they're smart enough to route like that. But as soon as I get back on the same floor, then they can route to me. So... That was neat. I got some more crossbow ammo. Uh, that was the second place to grab the crossbow in case I had missed it on the first time, which is always nice. Should 
should have jumped out the window. Unfortunately, the boundary for this game, it's not like any shark or anything like some games do. It's just these little leeches, which is super kind of lame. I'd rather it be a shark or something. Yeah, this is like the end of Highway 17 right up here. Oh wait, no it's not. We've still got... I've still got like one more Rebel base. I've got this Combine base. Uh, hello? <laughs> So this is another one where we can just... <laughs> and so they will kind of run a little bit. <laughs> But this again is completely optional, we don't need to stop. <laughs> It's just to remind us the Combine is in charge, and they're not happy about us being here. So. Honestly, for a Combine soldier, this is not a bad gig. Nice, quiet coastal area. Didn't know this ladder was here. Neat. Who are you? I'm Arthur, King of the Britons. Uh, I want to do the monologue for Monty Python, but I can't remember it by heart.
So yeah, the shotgun's behavior, I'm trying to see if he's going for cover or if he's... Yeah, so he runs for cover when he's too far away. So they're not the dumbest video game AI out there. They're not the smartest either. Uh, Fear had some really good enemy AI with squad behavior. There's a really good video on it from this uh, CS professor. But they're not too bad either. You know, they do work as a group. But they're also made, you know, primarily in the goal of funness. I don't know if I've ever seen this cache before. That's neat. And so this is what I picked up. It is kind of an, one of the neater alt fires of the weapons in this game. And so this is where we've got another, you know, pacing, breaking puzzle. We see one car battery. And we go, oh, we need two more. Ooh. See how many games do that nowadays? Not too many, I don't, I shouldn't think. Or something like that. You know how hard that is to code? And model all these parts. Yeah. Don't make them like they used to. So yeah, let's go find some car batteries. Let's see if I remember. That's fine, there's still three out here somewhere. I thought it was supposed to respawn. So I'm playing the Half-Life 2 update version. But I think just playing just regular old Half-Life 2 on Steam is probably the best way to experience this game now. Uh, Valve has done some patching of Half-Life 2 recently to start trying to get it ready for the Steam Deck. Uh, Valve's handhold Linux console that's coming out soon. Running an AMD chip, no less. CPU plus uh, APU, GPU. There's at least one more around here. It's 
over here. I can never remember where these things are. Got one from the trunk, got one from up there, and there should be at least one more that I can find. And I'm just gonna quick load. Oh, that's where the last one was. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of the last set piece battle of Highway 17. Hey, over here. You made it! We're picking up radio chatter. They're looking for your car. Get your car in the garage. Get your car in the garage. Okay, Doc. You'll have to go on foot from here. There's a secret path along the cliffside, but no one's going- I'm stuck. Get your car in the garage! Get your car in the garage! Oh, interesting. Okay, Doc. You'll have to go on foot from here. There's a secret path along the cliffs. Get your car in the garage. Okay, Doc. You'll have to go on foot from here. There's a secret path along the cliffside, but no one's going anywhere until we fight off this attack. Having you here to fight alongside it's going to make a big difference for morale. I'm sure. Wait, don't I know you from before? In the dropships! You look familiar. There's actually a bug with these guns. They're supposed to turn and shoot at me to prevent me from just doing this. But uh, they had a bug that broke that shortly after the game was released. Coming out over the road. Oh, Jaboy! Jaboy Moomoo, thanks for joining again. This is one of my favorite songs in the soundtrack.
Yeah, this is a pretty bad bug if you think about it. It kind of ruins this whole set piece. I remember playing this and being like, what? Why can I do this? So, hopefully they fix that before the uh, Steam Deck version. But it's understandable, you know, it's with all these different systems of the game engine. It's like if you change something that affects a physics object like that that moves, you don't know what else it's going to change unless you really remember what else you used it for. So, common programming error. Object oriented programming. I'll say. Are you going to do anything there, buddy? I guess not. Oh my god! And so this is another kind of... Oh no! They killed my boy! So this is another part of the set piece. And they always place health like in places where if you're looking for it, you'll find it just all over the map. It's kind of a really good facet of level design for this game. I actually vastly prefer health packs and non-regenerating health to regenerating health that's become popular. Uh, regenerating health is seen in a lot of console games where just like your screen gets bloody. <laughs> And if you just wait behind cover for, you know, like 15 seconds, you'll get all your health back. But I, I just don't find that very entertaining. It really breaks up the flow of combat. If you have finite, non-regenerating health, but good level design... But yeah, they were like, hey, we programmed this uh, this gunner thing. How about we make the player fight it like eight or nine times? Which is like, fair enough. This thing must have been hard to program. But it's fun, at least. It's very responsive. And if you're not careful with how you steer the rocket, it will shoot it down. So it is entertaining. Jaboy, thank you for watching the stream. I hope you like this. This is one of my favorite games. I haven't played it in a really long time. We'll take the cliff path before another gunship finds us. And I haven't played it on a PC setup like I've got now, uh, ever before, I think. It is nice playing on PC. Right along there. And watch your step. There we go. Good fun. And then we have an off-screen battle. They're pretty much screwed, but it's okay. I escaped through the secret passage, so. And now we're at sand traps. Or we've been in sand traps, but this is like, to me, this is more sand traps. You there! Stop where you are! Stay on the rocks! Don't step on the sand! It makes the antlions crazy! Laszlo, don't move! No. Help! <laughs> Dear God! Poor Laszlo! The finest mind of his generation! To come to such an end! We were heading for the Vortigaunt camp, hoping to pick up some bug baits of these damn things and leave us alone. Without Laszlo, what's the point? I know you tried to help. I'll stay with him a while. 
There's something I have to do. Go ahead. I hope you have better luck than we had. There, there. Remember to stay off the sand. The ant lions are edgy right now. Stay off the sand? Why? Oh no. Oh my god. But yeah, this is a really fun chapter to kind of break up the, you know, we had a really long driving section that let us take breaks here and there. Um, I really like this chapter. It's just kind of a fun, the floor is lava. This should have been a squid game. And these supply crates are actually dynamic. There's an algorithm that figures out how to balance the gameplay and give you what you most need. They're not actually predetermined. Which I think is definitely the preferable way to do... Ooh, that was close. That's a preferable way to do things. If you can write an algorithm to solve a challenge, and it's better at most situations, then use the algorithm. There's no reason to hard code it. The floor is lava. Poor Laszlo, the finest mind of his generation. What a shame. What a shame. I don't know if I've ever been over here before. Never mess with Texas. Yeah, I don't think I've ever noticed this before, huh? So you just dragged a bunch of corpses over here to just eat on all by himself. Huh. This is why I love Half-Life. Every time I play it, I discover something different. Just great level design. These two will be nice. Yeah, close enough. This one will be really good. I'm glad I went over here. There we go. We have another physics puzzle here, which is nifty. The seesaw. What else? Yeah. And then we've got like an interesting little thing over here and another cottage over that way. It's It really is a neat chapter. 
And you have to be much more intentional about what you explore, because if you don't, you'll get mauled by antlions. Oh! Ah! Oh, I thought, thought for sure that would trigger it, huh? Look at me, I'm so smart. Oh no! Dark stuck. Come to Papa, come to Papa. There we go. Big brain. Big brain time. And yeah, we get some more environmental storytelling. This debris is not random. It's like somebody set it up to jump across. So maybe it was Laszlo. He was the greatest mind of his generation. So. Alrighty, somewhere around here is a really long thingamajig. I think it's over here. Yeah, this definitely should have been a squid game. Aha, here it is. This thing. Yeah, for 2004, this game still looks great. You know, it doesn't have ray tracing or real-time lighting or any fancy stuff, but... Real-time global lighting, I don't think. I don't know much about renders, but just this game is very old. The art style really still holds up well. Yeah, and this had to fit on the original Xbox, which is crazy. I'm kind of sad that the game was kind of, a lot of it got cut because of performance requirements. But it's still a great game. I played the original Xbox version and, uh, ooh, it was pretty slow. Barely ran. Alright, thank you, Laszlo. I'm sure Laszlo designed this bridge plank thingy. He was the greatest mind of his generation. Never mind Gordon Freeman. PhD in theoretical physics from MIT. Laszlo was the greatest mind of his generation. And he didn't cause a renaissance or a um resonance cascade. So Gordon Freeman does not have that going for him. I just push buttons. I do what I'm told to do. Gordon Freeman. That's what he'd say if he could talk. Alright. Oh, where'd my, where'd my flat thing? Okay. 
more of these flat things. We're good. Uh, that's why I don't do sports. One more time. Oop. Too shallow. Only in source. But he's got like air resistance. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that they modeled that. Yeah, he's got air resistance. Huh. Neat. The floor is lava. And so if we ever fell onto the sand, we would probably just make a mad dash for that and hit the button to start repelling the ant lines. But then we might realize the generator is not on. Ant lines didn't care about it? No? Okay. Physics. Close enough. Not my day job. This is so much more fun than running across the sand. Advanced alien race still uses diesel. Don't they know that causes global warming? I bet the combine will probably be carbon neutral by 2050. That's one way to skin a cat. Uh... This must be riveting gameplay. I am going kind of slow. But yeah, if we weren't already very familiar with the gravity gun, this chapter kind of forces us to 
learn to love the gravity gun. There we go. And then we have our second big boss fight of the game up here. I'm a little bit neurotic, but that's okay. Explosive barrels, hemmed in area, what could go wrong? That was dumb. Men will do wise to heed our extraction of the Myrmidon's aromatic veripods. The process is not entirely hygienic, therefore, stand aside. The free man will have need of these veripods on the paths ahead. Gather them now. So we got its pheromone pods. Bug bait. The free man must follow.
So pointless. I love it. The ant lions won't bother you now, Doc. Dr. Freeman, you're a regular ant lion now. I swear by the pharopods myself. Do you? Yeah, I was thinking about just rubbing it in as clone, you know. It is rude of us to commune by flux shifting in front of those whose vortal inputs are impaired. Yes, we are localized in your auditory language as a matter of courtesy. Unless we wish to say unflattering things about you. Just so. Long. Do it. They basically called me a... Uh... Cripple. Ah. Worst loot box ever. Get going, Dr. Freeman. Nova Prospect is just ahead. Nova Prospect. Stand much chance. The Freeman honors us by his presence. Follow Freeman. Whatever. So they force us to do a kind of tutorial here, which is nice. And then coming up will be Nova Prospect. Freeman will now be instructed in the use of therapies. Attend now and learn to shepherd ant lions with the so-called bug bait. The Freeman will now break out his therapod and toss one into yonder pit. That's what your mom said. Ah. As the well. The free man can also coax his clients to attack specific targets. Observe the training mannequin and mark it well with another pheromone. Are you sure that's a mannequin? That's me. Now, attend well. Apply pressure to your therapy to signal the outlines in your command to follow you. Free man shows his excellence in all things. And now this one must bid the free man farewell. Nova Prospect lies just beyond. Remember well what you have learned here. The Eli Vance has greatest confidence in you. Always told me I was a queen, but now I know for sure. Yeah, so this is a really good use of existing gameplay systems. You know, you take a already existing element of gameplay, the ant lions, the whole sand trap things. 
and you turn it on its head and give the player some fun with it, which is really nice. So this section coming up is Nova Prospect. Basically, it's a combine facility where they kind of kidnap people and send them here by train, and nobody knows what they do here to those people. Um, the story of Half-Life has kind of a lot of allegories. Um, so, you know, the story was kind of supposed to be about colonialism. Um, but, you know, in the mid-early 2000s, um, it kind of, it almost becomes just as much about World War II and Nova Prospect, the analogy for what that's for, you know, doesn't even need, need to be said. But this, this coming section is basically like the storming of Normandy Beach. It's, it gives you very much D-Day vibes. And I don't know if people watching this uh, will have been around in the early 2000s, but World War II games were like the only FPS games that were getting released. It was super popular. Um, but nowadays, it's World War II is kind of finally coming back to video games, but uh, the, the, the genre got tired for a little bit in the late 90s, early 2000s. So yeah, storming the beaches of Normandy, basically. Priority warning. Stabilization for six Nova prospects. Perimeter restrictors disengaged. Priority warning. Perimeter restrictors disengaged. So. Cool, calm, collected voice of the Combine. Instead of, you know, soldiers storming the beaches, I got these idiots. Does not inspire confidence. Shadow report blackout stratus. Oh, this is a trick. This is so that you get to at least have some fun with the machine gun. That's a scripted event when you walk in here. And 
then yeah, this section kind of requires you to use the bugs as a meat shield. You can't get to those bunkers. So pretty much you just gotta let the... Let the bugs take the L for you right in front of the machine guns. Sorry! Go fetch, Fido! They killed Fido! I was disappointed by that RPG. All right, Fido, go fetch. Yeah, Antlion's taking the L. Oh, you can get up to those bunkers, okay. So yeah, you can go further along the beach, but there's nothing really over there. Let me just see if I can find anything out there. But yeah, this is basically the storming of Normandy with 2004 technology. If we try to go up here, there's not really anything interesting. There's no way forward. So. Get out of my way! You know, I didn't ever know this was down here. Huh. I've never noticed this before. Played this game like five times. It's neat. But yeah, Normandy. It's not Shakespeare, but it is kind of interesting. Possible anti citizen one reinfection. That's my name. Testing. Stabilization delegate. Move to hard points. Move to hard points, so like the bunkers. I'm anti citizen one. I'm honored.
Silver Fox Stabilization for Directive 2. Engage reserve. Contain exogen incursion. Exogen incursion, I guess that means the ant lions. What are you doing there, my guy? Is he stuck? He might be stuck. That might be a glitch. Yeah, it looks like he's stuck. Rip. This bunker is empty, I think. Yeah. Special heavy suppression and wrap up incoming. So I guess that means gunships. But yeah, the sound design of this game is great. Unless you have a good speaker set up, you really won't understand much of the Combine or um, Overwatch dialogue. But it is kind of neat. a lot of health there. Sudden the machine gun fire too long. Grenades? That's not particularly helpful. 
So I guess some of the boxes are predetermined, but some of them are dynamic. I think those were probably predetermined. Get up in those towers. Oh, I broke all the boxes down there. Rip. Yet another gunship battle. I think on hard mode there are two of these things. Maybe on normal there might be two. Health was too low. Gotta be more careful. smart enough if you're right next to an explosive barrel he'll shoot it so he's no dummy <laughs> there's a, there is a second one. Oh no and just this crate no cover oh is
Is there a second one? I guess not. But yeah, so we're now in Nova Prospect, basically. Oh, there are two gunships. Ah, I knew it. Gosh darn it. So nice, they had to do it twice. But now the problem is either of them can shoot down the rockets, so I've got to be careful. Make sure I land a hit. Yeah, and on hard mode, these guys take like five rockets to kill. It just goes on way too long. So normal is probably the best way to play this game. Most fun. That still didn't kill him? Oh my gosh. What am I doing? I hit the building! Finally! Oh yeah, and he's scripted to land here and break this wall in, so it's not until he dies we can progress. A5, A7, B2. So, ant lions are causing some trouble. Look at that. I'm so smart. I learned a thing, and then I did the thing. Great software design. Nova Prospect. I think I'm going to play a little bit more and then call it quits. This is one of the story heavy chapters of the game. A lot of stuff got caught or got cut in development, but some of the story actually did make it into this chapter chapter. We have a little bit of exposition from Dr. Br or sorry. Dr. Breen? Yeah, Dr. Breen, the administrator where he's kind of, he's ragging on the Combine for being so bad at their jobs they can't kill one lousy theoretical physicist. Talks more about the, uh, our benefactors, the off-world aliens. This is another element where we're trained on a mechanic. They introduce turrets here. And we have a safe environment to learn, oh, when we knock them over, they stop working. So.
Valve is pretty good at that, and most of their games, they always, like, teach you a concept before they expect you to implement it in gameplay. If you're paying attention. Likewise here, we have a second chance. Who is that guy? And why does he always need to straighten his tie? I love television. What are they doing here? Is this a dentist's office? This is the perfect chapter for Halloween. So spooky. Ah yes, another puzzle. Oh wait, no, this isn't it. Is this water hurdy or normal? I can never remember. Okay, it's normal. Can you not? Gosh, my reflexes. But yeah, so they're clearly losing control here, basically. And what other story stuff can we see if we're looking around? So yeah, this is kind of the grim Eastern European setting coming into full force. This is the spooky place where they take people and we don't know what they do with them. And despite it being like a very advanced, you know, alien thingy, yeah, you know, they're using human infrastructure. And it's just kind of that old spooky. It evokes certain feelings. But that's entirely intentional. They actually reused this kind of turret in the Portal game, uh, which came out nearly the same time, released with the orange box. So, benefit of having reusable assets. 
Run him once. Use him many times. This creature is intentionally made to be kind of phallic looking. One of the uh, designers for Valve basically said, you know, our main target audience is teenagers. And what are teenagers most afraid of? I'm pretty sure it's something that looks like that. So there you go. Psychology. Ah! My ears! Hello? So I could have killed him by now with the uh, the crossbow or the RPG easily. But this is more fun. I've never played it like this before. Not just using one of the ridiculously overpowered weapons. I wonder if that actually does any damage. It should, right? Ow! At least I, he has an auditory cue when he's about to attack. So scary. Is he invulnerable here? I feel like he might be invincible. Let me, let me test that real quick. This might be one where you have to escape and then the second time you see him, you can kill him. Or he just has a ton of health, I forget. Okay, yeah, so you can kill him, he's just...
God damn it! Thank you. Sector is not secure, you don't say. Alrighty. Forget how to do it. Protect me, my children. Oh. Yeah, they were draining, they were torturing this poor guy. Look at that. He's got like some kind of chain thing. That looks painful. Okay. bad. So I don't think this scene here is scripted. Goddamn bugs!
Not another valve puzzle. Wait, that's not supposed to work. It's supposed to shred that. Uh, is that a bug? Must be a bug with this version. Yeah, normally only the cinder block or the buckets can do that. Puzzle. So I think they're smart enough to not walk into their own trip mines. But they sure stand awfully close to them. See if I can do a speedrun strat. Expected benefits. It cannot have gone unnoticed by all resistance members that Dr. Vance's capture of Cohen. This might cause other resistance members to think twice. That's pretty neat. And if we go in there, we basically, there are certain triggers we have to hit that we don't hit in the right order if we go there directly. But where do I have to walk? Dummy, I'm up here. Speedrun strat. So I'm basically hitting the triggers in the backward order I'm supposed to. But that's fine. Oh, 
Thank you for once. Engine. But without concrete evidence to back it up, my words sound increasingly hollow even to me. The burden of proof is on you, as is the consequence of failure. I'll just leave it at that. to say a few words to the transhuman arm of Sector 17 Overwatch concerning recent successes in containing members of the Resistance science team. Oh no. Say up front that I regret having to temper my heartfelt congratulations with a strong measure of disappointment. If I didn't pass along the map. already broken. Normally there's spring on the monitor. Another time to the extent it proves necessary. Now is the moment to redeem yourselves. If the transhuman forces are to prove themselves an indispensable augmentation to the combat, I know Overwatch. They will have to earn the privilege. I'm sure I don't have to remind you that the alternative, if you can call it that, is total extinction. In union with all the other unworthy branches of the species. Let's not allow it to come to that. I have done my best. 
to convince our benefactors that you are the finest the species has to offer. So far, they have accepted my argument, but without concrete evidence to back it up. My words sound increasingly hollow even to me. The burden of proof is on you, as is the consequence of failure. I'll just leave it at that. I have been asked to say a few words to the transhuman arm of Sector 17 Overwatch concerning recent successes in containing members of the Resistance science team. Let me say up front that I regret having to temper my heartfelt congratulations with a strong measure of disappointment. I wouldn't be doing my duty as your administrator if I didn't pass along the message I have received from our benefactors. The capture of Eli Vance is an event of major significance, make no mistake. And while it's true that conceivably we could have taken him at almost any time in the last several years, the manner of his capture may prove to have unexpected benefits. It cannot have gone unnoticed by all resistance members that Dr. Vance's capture coded the act of giving shelter to Gordon Freeman. This might cause other Resistance members to think twice before harboring Dr. Freeman. It might cause them to question his allegiance, even prompt some to turn him out or turn him over to our cause. However, we cannot count on such developments. Dr. Freeman's reputation is such that other desperate renegades are likely to grant him a great deal of license in the spirit of spreading general chaos and terror. This brings me to the one note of disappointment I must echo from our benefactors. Obviously, I am not on the ground to closely command or second-guess the dedicated forces of the Overwatch. But this does not mean I can shirk responsibility for recent lapses and even outright failures on their part. I have been severely questioned about these shortcomings, and now I must put the question to you. How could one man have slipped through your force's fingers, time and time again? How is it possible? This is not some agent provocateur or highly trained assassin we are discussing. Gordon Freeman is a theoretical physicist who had hardly earned the distinction of his PhD at the time of the Black Mesa incident. I have good reason to believe that in the intervening years, he was in a state that precluded further development of covert skills. The man you have consistently failed to slow, let alone capture, is by all standards simply that, an ordinary man. How can you have failed to apprehend him? Well, I will leave the upgrading for another time to the extent it proves... Now is the moment to redeem yourselves. If the transhuman forces are to prove themselves an indispensable augmentation to the Combine Overwatch, they will have to earn the privilege. I'm sure I don't have to remind you that the alternative, if you can call it that, is total extinction. In union with all the other unworthy branches of the species. Let's not allow it to come to that. I have done my best to convince our benefactors that you are the finest the species has to offer. So far, they have accepted my argument, but without concrete evidence to back it up. My words sound increasingly hollow even to me. The burden of proof is on you, as is the consequence of failure. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, so basically he calls the Combine transhuman forces. He says, um, you know, our benefactors are disappointed. To say a few words to the transhuman arm of Sector 17 Overwatch. And because it's kind of a World War II allegory, um, Resistance science team. obviously we have eugenics in there and the whole colonialism. Whatever. Of disappointment. 
I wouldn't be doing my duty as your administrator if I didn't pass along the message I have received from the power benefactors. The capture of Eli Vance is an event of major significance, make no mistake. And while it's true that conceivably we could have taken him at all the time in the last several years, So, quite a bit of exposition in one tiny part, but they did have to cut a lot from this chapter. And it is kind of, the storytelling isn't the best in video games. It's okay. But yeah, we had one big exposition dump where if we weren't paying attention, we wouldn't have understood about why the Combine are here, what they're doing with humans, kind of adopting them into their empire. After augmentation, of course, doing unspeakable things in Nova Prospect. But, yeah, that's about it. Oh, wrong way. This looks heavy. wasn't very smart. I didn't do that well. <laughs> what? All the way back here? Oh! Kidding me. works.
of their AI is pretty smart. If they're getting shot at, they're going to go back to cover and then try to regroup and attack together. At least I think. But in episode two, they I think they improved the AI for the next two small. What? That's a giant metal bathtub. Why does it do so, do so little physics damage? That's weird. I am not a smart man. That was embarrassing. Okay, I didn't do myself any favors there. Wow. 
This is the boss battle. I think we have to kill it. No, we don't. Okay. It's just encouraged that we kill it, but... If we already know the way, we can just skip it. Eventually, we will get crushed if we stay there too long. So, combine moves in. Back to life. Alright, I think I should stop here. That was Nova Prospect. So. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. We'll be available on YouTube later.